So the next step is to take a look at using the local cluster itself. Again, selecting the network. We're now going to uh, be able to set the parameters for the volume. So this is um, based on the availability. We're going to use erasure coding at the host level with a one plus two configuration. Uh, the other overhead, uh, the other erasure coding options aren't available because of the number of uh, hosts that we have in the system. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to specify a domain name. So this is going to be what your Acronis Backup Gateway domain name is. And so uh, this does need to be a fully qualified domain name that resolves. So if we did something like backup.domain.com, it gives us an example here of what we need to create as far as the A records, uh, as far as the settings there, and you would need to specify those um, at the root domain is uh, managed. Once that is complete, you go ahead and you're going to register the this backup gateway that we just created, whether it's an S3, NFS, or in this case, local attached storage. The process for the domain name and the registration is exactly the same. So we're gonna go in and we're going to specify the account. And this is the account at the partner level. So that means looking at the partner level, this is where we can add backup storage. So if you don't have, have the add backup storage, the user either doesn't have enough uh, permissions or you're at the wrong uh, level in the organization. So we're going to use this particular user, which is, and we're going to specify the password. going to go ahead and hit next. So it's going to go out and it's going to create that backup gateway for us. And I'm just going to register that gateway. So if we now go and we look here at the location, we can now see that the domain, the backup domain is here. So again, this would need to be a fully resolved uh, resolvable domain name. Obviously, in this case, uh, it's just for demo purposes. So our backup gateway uh, is set up and we can go ahead from our Kronos Cyber Infrastructure and we can actually now see our backup gateway. 